Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the 21-year-old Glen Murray Algin Heritage Range. This nice wooden bookended bottle. Beautiful bottle, very proudly and nicely presented to. And we're gonna use, to leave that there as a prop if you want to, we're actually gonna use the press sample that they sent, which is very kind of them to do so. And Glen Murray for me is one of the most under uh, undervalued uh, probably underappreciated uh, single malt Scotch whiskies there is, especially in space uh, If you can, you can pick it up in stores for ridiculously good value. And I've often said to them they should add another twenty percent or more to their pricing because people will still pay it because it's such a beautiful whiskey. Um, and yeah, they never listen to me when I say that. I remember pick, being in their distillery actually in two thousand fifteen, August the twenty seventh. It was. Um, I've got a weird thing about dates. I managed to pick up a 30 year old Glen Murray, 30 year old distillery exclusive for £170. Um, and I was blown away, so I had to buy it instantly. And then they gave me, as a very kind gesture, staff discount. So it brought it down to £150. And for a 30 year old single malt space side Scotch whiskey. Incredible. And uh, even now, a, lo a large part of my whiskey collection is Glen Murray. Whenever they release something, I get one, at least. Sometimes two. Um, one, just here that I was having a go on the other day. It was a single cask, peated cask, uh, 1994 distillery edition. Um, yeah, massive fan of what they do. Ian Allen up there as well, the distillery manager um, and guardian of the visitor centre, um, is arguably one of the best brand ambassadors and whiskey folk in the industry. So if you ever get the chance to go up there, say hi to Ian, tell him Greg said hello. Um, hopefully if a lot of you do that, he'll get a weird complex about how many people I talk about Glen Murray to, but that'll be fine. Anyway, 21 years old, Portwood finish. And you get on the nose immediately that lovely kind of port, port kind of character, that port scent, but also a bitter chocolate that comes with the port uh, casks. Very buried, very deep, deep fruity berry note there. Mm. The palate is so refined, so sweet and fruity and easy drinking, but it's still a very like, upfront single malt Scotch whiskey. There's no hiding the fact, although it has got a lovely a sweetness and calmness to it. On the tongue now, it is just vanilla sweetness, uh, which is dancing around. But those berry notes, those winter berry notes, especially uh, blueberries, for me anyway. Um, oh, it's just fantastic. And cherry as well. That's a fantastic whiskey. So well composed. One of the last to hold the Graham Cool uh, name on the box and bottle before he sadly departed the Scotch world for the Irish whiskey world. Uh, we at Great Drowns wish him all the best and his lovely wife Faye as well in their future life in, uh, in Dingle in Ireland. And uh, yeah, I have thoroughly enjoyed spending time with those guys over the years. Um, both of them are a credit to the industry and have been phenomenally uh, nice, welcoming and hospitable every time I've been anywhere near them or whenever we've had any digital comms as well. So best of luck to them, best of luck to the future of Glen Murray as well. Uh, it's definitely one to pay attention to and buy into because it is so fairly valued, it's unbelievable. Um, all the pricing for all their bottles are bordering on cheap. Um, yeah, get involved and leave your comments on the distillery, on Graham, on Ian, Faye, whoever, uh, in the comments below, and uh, we'll, we'll discuss. Cheers. Until next time.